up you guys welcome back to my channel it is mary you all we are getting into new york fashion week and my favorite collection from this week honestly has to be area you know i do believe they're a new brand i mean they've been around for a while obviously but they're not like as old as you would say you know versace or fendi or whatever but they came out with their ready to wear collection and it was it was a spring ready to wear collection and they had a total of 33 looks for me it was like the scaparelli show where it's just like it was different it was a bit crazy, but it's like you love the crazy. And I just absolutely adored this whole entire show. Like from the colors to the silhouettes to like the banana, like basically I'm bananas for you theme. It was amazing. You know, at first I was like, what is going on with all this fruit? Like, but um, when I went to Vogue Runway, they basically said um, the collection was inspired by fruit and it was about, um, the meaning of fruit, the beauty of fruit, they really wanted to put that on display for this collection. And I felt like they did an amazing job of it. I mean, for a collection that was all about fruit, it really was not, it wasn't a bad collection. Like, I actually thought it was beautiful. Like, I mean, y'all can debate me in the comments. Like, did you hate it or were you, like, feeling it for sure? I mean, I was feeling it because I felt like I really loved the colors. Like, he had pinks, he had blues, he had purples, yellows, blacks, pink, hot pink, green, neon, like... For all of these colors, he really did an amazing job in like blending it all together. And you know, for the collection, um, there were like bees, not bees, but I think it was like flies in the background as the um the as they were walking down the catwalk, you know, which I thought was interesting because they said it was flies, but yeah, they said it was basically flies. You know, usually when a, when fruit has expired, you will see flies or bugs or whatever the case may be. I thought it was really cool and honestly with the feathers because he had like a lot of these pop-up feathers like on like these was I guess you would say like these feather masks and then also he had some looks that were kind of like beaded and it looked like they had like these little things that were kind of um jumping off from it as well so I was thinking that you know what is with that but I think maybe he was trying to simulate that those were like flies on the fruits the fruit dresses as anyway but yeah I just thought this collection was really 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 phenomenal like I mean, oh my gosh, it just, it was everything in the bag of chips. Um, but let's get into what silhouettes and garments he had for this collection. He really had a lot of separates. He had minis, he had crop tops, he had bikini tops as well. He had mini dresses. There was this one denim mini dress that I really loved. I thought it was so amazing. He also had like these um, banana cut slash, like these banana, um, what was it? These cutout bondage dresses that had these banana um, silhouettes, honestly. And then he had like fitted gowns, he had pants, he had um, long, I think he had like maybe one long velvet skirt. And then he had like these really, this one really beautiful sculpted dress that kind of like was shaped almost in a banana, like a banana was peeling. Oh my god, like I just love it when designers kind of go a bit crazy, but they do it so well. Like... I was obsessed. Just like how I'm still obsessed over that Scaparelli show, I'm obsessed over the area show. And I felt like they really did their thing with this for sure. Like, it was crazy, but it wasn't like, oh my god, what the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Do we just go ahead and get into the show? Yes, we're going to go ahead and get into some of my favorite looks. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this denim piece. You know, if you zoom in and look at the dress, it really actually looks like the crotch of... Um, denim pants like because when you look at it you look at the seams it kind of like has the button up right and then you have these little hooks that you use to put your belt through and then you have the um this really extended crotch in the front of the dress that kind of curves like the um seam you know because you have that zipper on your denim jeans that's where you know um but i just love the dyeing of this because my thing is i had a collection um that i had to do for my senior collection when i went to scad um, and I basically did a modest collection made out of denim and it was phenomenal, but I really was trying to dye the denim in like different colors. And I think I spent like maybe $400 on dye just for me not to use it. But I did end up using bleach to dye it and it was so amazing. But I'm thinking I'm just like really marveled at how he was able to dye this denim so well. I mean, obviously he has the resources. He doesn't have to go to Michael's to get dye but <laughs> i thought this was really nice the like the transition from the pink to the purple to the white down to like a lighter pink to a darker pink to a blue like was phenomenal and i love the beads on going around the um hem of this mini um dress i thought it was cute and then on top of that you have like these feather 
I don't know, I think they're sand sandals. They're like feather sandals, and then he has like this feathered mask as well. Then it's like there's like this mini train coming from it. Like it was just delicious. I was like, oh my god, this is so 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 beautiful. And then you have this bondage dress. Well, bandage dress because I mean those used to be so popular. I just don't see them anymore. Like I don't see people wearing them. Like did those go out of style? Do people not like them? I thought they were very sexy and really. I thought it was interesting the way they did it. Um, but I just love this. Um, I thought it was interesting. This banana dress. I mean, it was not my favorite, but I do love the concept of it because it's kind of like a bondage dress but really he uses bananas in in place and kind of makes it like this fitted dress made out of bananas but i'm sure he was pulling inspiration from a bandage dress i thought it was bondage but someone says it's actually a bandage dress when i was looking at it up on vogue and it like it had a turtleneck it was yellow it had like these gold accents as well and then the feather shoes i do believe that this was a collaboration with a shoe fashion house or something i can't remember what it's called when i do i will write it down below for you guys um but yeah, I thought this look was interesting. It kind of was like, I'm going bananas for you. Like, that's the first thing that popped up in my mind. And the fact that he created a whole collection out of fruits, I thought was really cool. You know, he kept with the banana theme, but I wish he would have had different, I mean, he had a he had some different fruit. He had, um, I think he had like a watermelon I saw at one point. Yeah, I think I really only saw like bananas and watermelons for sure for this collection. But I mean, he said the collection was supposed to be about the beauty and the meaning behind fruit. Um, so I felt like maybe what he could have done was to have some different um, fruits as well. But I'm really not upset with it. I felt like maybe he could have had at least three or four fruit instead of just having the two. That would be my only critique for real. Um, because I felt like he he went with the banana theme and he just kept going and kept going and kept going. And I felt like it was great. Like even the, uh, was it the watermelon dress? I thought that was so beautiful. It's my favorite color, pink. I really love the gold accents. I love the drama and the sculptured look of this because it's like, yes, it's a watermelon. But I could see somebody definitely wearing this on a red carpet for sure. And without them like looking crazy or anything. Because it's like that silhouette where you kind of have like, um this fitted bodice and they have like this really puffy skirt at the bottom that's what it reminded me of so I, thought, so I thought this one was very tastefully done and I felt like if he did it in any other color it just would not have worked but because it's pink and it has gold and then it has the black to kind of normalize everything it looks really really good um there was another dress that was worn by this older woman and you know the fact that he said it was about flies this kind of reminded me of you know a pomegranate this was giving me pomegranate vibes, right? And then you have like maybe these little flies kind of flying towards the pomegranate. So that's what I really love about this dress. And I thought it was so cool that he had it on an older model because you really don't see a lot of them. Like, yes, Naomi Campbell is still here and she's modeling and stuff. But I mean, that girl looks like she's really like probably in her 40s, late 30s, if I'm being honest. Um, but this model, she definitely looks older, but I thought she looked so youthful and fun. I thought it was so beautiful. This one was really interesting. It looked like it had like maybe these feathers that looked like maybe they were supposed to be flies flying towards a pomegranate because when she walks in it has very, it has amazing movement for this one. I really loved it and it looked like it had um, layers of sheer fabric. I just thought it was really cute. It kind of was giving me empire neckline because you know the, um, the empire necklines where you have it like basically all the way up underneath your bust. Um, so... Yeah, I thought this one was really beautiful. I thought this was one this was one of my favorite looks. But y'all, can we get into this one look? Like it had yellows, it had greens, it had lavender, and it had these beautiful black feather um sandals as well. And what I love about this is that it transitions so well because it's like you have these really bright colors on the top, right? And then it kind of transitions down into like this really dark color, like a darker green. It's subtle, but it's there. And then you go have like this black ruffle that's on this asymmetrical skirt and then you um fall down into these beautiful black um feather sandals which i thought were phenomenal and i love the green bow behind her the girl she looks fierce this you know i thought was really really beautiful can i see it on a red carpet for sure um but me personally what i think somebody should do like if they were going to wear it on a red carpet I would probably keep the, um, cause you know, I can honestly probably see Cardi B wearing this, but maybe with a longer skirt, you know what I'm saying? Like having the crop bikini top with the, um, the bow at the back. Like I can see Cardi B wearing this, or I can probably see a Zendaya wearing this. 
You know what I'm saying? Because Cardi likes to show, you know, her skin and stuff like that. And I think there was this one time where she wore like this um this bikini top. I think she had just had her kids because you could tell that she had some lipo done. Um, but I mean I can see Cardi wearing this for sure. I can definitely see Zendaya wearing this and killing it. But I mean I'm saying that this in a way of like maybe the skirt is it's really nice to skirt but i felt like if you were going to do for a red carpet maybe what you can do instead of having like that ruffle at the bottom you can kind of maybe have a ruffle on the side and elongate the skirt right and then have a ruffle on the side and make that a slit you know what i'm saying so basically you make the skirt long and then you have a slit and then maybe you add a ruffle onto the slit you know what i'm saying like that would be a really fun tongue-in-cheek with this um, but I mean, I do love the feather, but I don't see it being worn on a red carpet if it does not have like maybe a longer skirt to go with it. But this is really fun. It's definitely giving me Miami vibes. It's definitely giving me summer vibes. Super cute for sure. I mean, you can definitely see this like being worn in a music video, honestly. I mean, probably a music video more than anything. I feel like if you're going to wear it on a red carpet, you'll have to have a long skirt or something. But let's get into this green, this neon green lace jumpsuit. I do not like sheer. I am not somebody who thinks it does women a lot of favors unless it's done really well. I don't really like the whole entire sheer thing all underneath where it's like you're completely naked underneath. But I felt like this was really beautiful. I love the neon green and I love the hot pink sandals, the hot pink shoes. I thought it was so well done. I love the earrings. They were like these beautiful big drop earrings. I thought it was so cute. I mean, if they did the pink and with the green, I just felt like it would not have had a big impact. But I felt like the pink paired with the neon green looked beautiful and it was just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that it was a glove, too. Like, this was a whole bodysuit. Like, I have no idea. Maybe they put a zipper at the back. I didn't see uh, the back of the outfit. I'm sure they put a zipper. But I thought this was very beautiful. The model looked amazing. And I just absolutely love this look for sure. Another look that I loved was this beautiful, kind of like this simple black dress that had this cutout in the middle. Um, and then it had, like, this beaded turtleneck neckline. I thought this was so gorgeous, so beautiful absolutely loved it i mean it's simple but it it makes an impression for sure you know who i can see wearing this lori i could totally see lori harvey wearing this and killing it oh my god and another look that i loved which i didn't think i would when i first saw it because it's basically like this boxer um it basically was like boxers right but then you have like this um these beads on top of it and it was giving me chanel vibes it was giving me chanel because you know y'all know chanel loves their tweed right but it was like cream and then it was black and then you have like these pockets that kind of cover the breasts right and then you have like these beaded straps like these very exaggerately um beaded straps and it looks like little flies just fall are those flies they look like they're in the shape of flies. She even has a fly on her face. I think it's supposed to represent flies for sure. And then she has like this beaded um, neckline, this beaded necklace as well. It just was giving me Chanel vibes, but then it was also giving me area vibes with the um, exaggeration with the beads and the jewels and the rhinestones. Like, you know, because I feel like area is kind of known for their rhinestones for their tailoring as well. So I thought like this was such a cute play. And the fact that this is boxers, I thought it was so cute. Like it was so funky. And then I love the shoes. It almost would look like a bunch of ants kind of crawling, trying to go to like some fruit or something. I don't know. I just loved it. I love the craziness of this one. I thought it was so cute. Another outfit that I really loved, it was this, um, this denim pants with like, um, it had like this banana corset. It looks like it's a corset, but then it has like these bananas. It has these gold nipple coverings. I thought it was interesting. It's not my favorite look, but I love the fact that he really played with the bananas and the silhouettes and the sculptural shapes in this um, look. Like, I just thought it was so beautiful, so well done. And I felt like he did a phenomenal job with this, honestly. It was definitely um, quite interesting because of the corset and then you have the denim and everything. They have her chest all out, which I'm not a fan of, but I thought it was beautiful. I really, really did. And then I guess let's get into the last two looks. You know, this denim outfit that looks like a peeled banana. And then she has these gold nipple coverings. And then you have like these, you have like several bananas in like these, in the sides of the dress. Where it's like she's kind of walking like this. But I mean, I just thought it was so beautiful. It kind of was giving me a bit of like Scaparelli vibes. It was quite sculptured. And I really love sculptured designs because I feel like it takes a lot of creativity for you to try and make something that is kind of hard. Like you really wouldn't. 
you're trying to figure out how do I make this out of in a pattern how do I make sure it stands up properly how am I going to be able to give it let it still have this effect that I want it to have and it's like you have to go a different route than what you would typically do um, so I love when a designer pushes themselves to do something that's sculptural and I thought this was beautiful I really really loved it it was quite dramatic I thought it was amazing quite honestly um, and then I want to talk about this last banana look. It was basically was had all these different bananas kind of layered and it was black and it had gold. And I love the fact that they were smaller than they got bigger and bigger and bigger as it transcended down to that it transcended down the dress. I thought it was just so tastefully done and I really love the craziness of this. Area was by far my favorite in New York Fashion Week. I know we still have a few more shows to go, but this was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, but oh my god, oh my god, you guys, let me know what you guys thought of this collection. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Let's have a healthy conversation about fashion, you all. But it's Mary. I invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. Bye!